third day, what were you all looking for and trying to get yeah, accomplished? Just, um, obviously, like every day, trying to get better, but we're introducing, you know, going over third down. So, you're, you know, you're adding situations, trying to get, get these guys ready to play. And um, day three is always interesting. Once you find out, you know, you get the – after the first two days and – Get who can grind out through day three. Some guys needed an extra cup of coffee, but I thought overall these guys competed and we got a lot accomplished. Tomorrow, wrap up the first block, I guess, in four right. days. Uh, uh, what are you looking for there? And then uh, a little rest and I guess the pads on Monday. Right. Yeah, we're just looking to come out here. Same thing, D-Led. Can we improve? We'll add some more situations to the practice. We, uh, we intentionally gave some younger guys more reps today, you know, day three. We got some guys that are really, really rolling, which is uh, it's a good sign when you got to pull back some of your, your better players and some of your veterans. It gives you an opportunity to get some younger guys reps. But tomorrow, crank it back up and, and finish this week. Rich said he was real comfortable and kind of watched him today um, uh, and, uh, you know, his one-on-ones and uh, the yeah. drills. Uh, what's your sense of where he's at? Yeah, he's got a lot more confidence. And same thing with Darren Hall. I mean, it, you know, everybody more than ever, Everyone wants instant gratification, and we we have a plan, and, and we have a high expectation for Richie going this year, and brought him along. And some of those guys, it, it, uh, they got put in situations quick, and had to play in spots just out of necessity. Inside, Richie was one of them. Darren, Hell Avery had to go in there. Uh, we were looking for anybody to play to play in that nickel slot spot last year, and I think it really helped them. You know, they, they went against some good players, and had to cover them. That's a hard position to play as a young guy, and it's probably made them better. Darren outside, Richie. Um, with some of the other safety stuff we're asking them to do. When you, when you see Drake, if he start to make it look like some players here with the pads on, what does that tell you about where he might be? So how you last where, where do you feel like he is right now with his development compared to where he gets on? Well, I mean, it's like, that's a very subjective question. We want all of our guys to be getting better every day as we ramp up towards the season. And he's a rookie. Uh, you know, we're throwing a lot at him, and it's good to see him show up. But like all rookies, they got a lot of stuff to work on. Things are new for him, but he's got the right mindset. That's what he showed the last three days, and, it, and it's good to see him show up and make some plays. Coach, that's about the coach being here today. It's been two years since fans have been in here, and this complex has changed so much. But well, we actually had fans last year. Yeah. We had fans last year. Yeah, we did. It was first open practice. Um, Love having our fans out there. It does bring a little there, but, it, it, but to your point, it's a little more open. It, it's felt like a long two and a half years, um, and it's awesome to have them back out here. Brings a little extra energy. Like I said, most of our guys were good. Some of them needed an extra cup of coffee. Coach, on a day like today, what are you looking for from a guy like Desmond Ritter? Yeah, we're, we're giving Des as many reps as we can throw at him and um, see if he can come back here and continue to, to have more command of the huddle and, and see how he handles struggle. I mean, that's ultimately what it can, can you handle failure? And, and you got a good play. Can you stack good plays, or you know, you're going to go on this whole roller coaster? So it's good. He's grinding through it and made a couple plays a day, and we're, we're, we're pleased with where he's at. Like they may be out there making a couple plays. You see the guys kind of, kind of getting amped up as far as you know, bringing the energy, intensity up on the defensive side. Do you think that's something of thing that you can kind of build upon as far as you know being a better unit than they were last year? Jesus Christ, you got you got to every year. It, last year doesn't matter, guys. Like. I don't care whether you win the Super Bowl or you go over. It's a different season. And you got to build a different team and you got to prove it. That's the beauty of this game. I mean, you can put all the hot takes and predictions and great. Uh, it's, it's a joke. Well, we got to go out here and, and get better. It wouldn't matter what happened last year. So, but the part about the passion, yeah, you want guys to have it and enjoy their, enjoy their job. It brings energy. What you can't have happen is you can't have a guy taking their helmet off after you make a, make a play. That's the stuff that gets you beat. And that's the stuff that uh, that we got to fix, or, the, or those players won't be out there that, that hurt the team. Speaking of hot, okay, hot takes and predictions, uh, I'm sure you love. When you have a, when you're coming into a season where expectations on the outside are so low, do you change at all anything you do with coaching? Cares? Like, like, go, just go, you know, do a Google search. Like, a, go look and see what they thought of the of the iPhone coming out. If you want to humor yourself, you, you, it's hard to find good comedy today. Go back and look at predictions if you want real comedy. Anything else? I mean, I mean, it is. I mean, it's a joke.
with this offensive line competition situation of football, what are, you, what are you looking for without having the pads on there and with that competition? Yeah, I mean, still, I mean, we're going full speed, right? And, and it's all relative. They get it, you know, some of the fits inside without the pads and restrictions. I mean, we had the spiders on a day, you know, as we'll, we'll continue to add, but I think they're competing well. They're coming off the football. We've been mixing and matching, saw progress with some of these young guys. It fires me up. I'm looking forward to go back and, and seeing the tape and see, and see what it looked like. It, it, where it's hard is is the real run yard, you know. But you could see it on the track and the first to touch, tagging off. It's the nature of it. But I thought we had some good, uh, at least out there, certainly looked like we, we, we had a couple positive runs and stuff to build off of.